Right now, we're working from home, in our kitchens and on our dining room tables. What we want to do is lift everything off the table and into a successful home office. Whether you have a small or large space, we want to give you the tips and tricks to help you be successful. We're combining our shared industry expertise to help you be more organized, more productive, all while looking good. In each episode, we'll help renovate their home office workspace. Our mission is for you to be the best and most productive you, all while looking good. Hi, I'm Dolores Pan, and I'm a master interior designer that specializes in successful people. Worked on a variety of projects from large to small offices and even a jail once upon a time. So I want to take all of this design expertise and dedicate it to your home office because design reclaiming time, that's what we're all about. Hi, I'm Najib. I'm the founder of Teamland. Teamland is a team culture platform. And as someone who's worked remotely for 10 years and someone who used to be a former architect, we're here to bring our expertise to this show. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. All right, welcome everyone to another episode of Home Office for Success series with myself, Najib, and Dolores. And now we have Zhao. So welcome, Zhao. Thank you, um, thanks for having me. If you could share a bit more about, you know, uh, about yourself and your work. Sure, sure, it'll be a pleasure. So thanks for having me. I'm really anxious to see this, this happening. So yeah, so my name is Joao. I'm originally from Portugal. Uh, but I've been living and traveling for the last 10 years all around the world. I live in the Caribbean, live in Asia, now planning to move to Africa, well, to live sometime in Africa when I have a chance. But I'm now creating my base, home base in Portugal. That's what we're going to talk about. Now, could you share a bit more about your space and how you use the space? Yeah. So I hope you can see it from here. So mm -hmm. you've got my um, standing desk now. Uh, there's a L-shaped desk here, see the window there, everything is kind of wide, there's some uh, go for it here where I can store some stuff, kind of empty because I don't have much stuff, you can see the desk, and then you can see it. Even the house has cable network all around, so you got the plugs, you have the power plugs, and that's also internet, and also the same here, so the internet cable comes from inside this box on the floor. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah, I, th I did this so that the, the, the reconstruction of the house was before Wi-Fi was around. So <laughs> I thought that I, so I, I got like a, a, um, a center of um, hub in the house where I can plug internet mm. in every uh, location. So it's nice to have direct. more reliable than Wi-Fi. That is much definitely more reliable than Wi-Fi. So yeah, wait. it's just like a direct access. And you said you did this 10 years ago? So yeah, so you remodeled actually, the well, place 10 years ago, renovated. Sorry? You renovated 10 years ago, you said? 12 years to be up to be 12. 2008 was the end of the renovation. Wow. Okay. So you have that space and you're kind of setting up your home office there. What would you say is your what do you like about it and what is your challenges or what do you want to explore? I'm looking for, um, I'm actually looking for a studio uh, because I, and that's why I've got this now, this thing and, and I'm trying to get a proper camera and everything because I want to do, I'm doing online events. So in a way I, I need to be streaming. I need to be live many times. So I need to have a proper course for that. And I also intend to start the podcast soon. Uh, so, Podcast, a video cast, let's call it the right, right way, a video cast. Uh, so that I require to have um, a proper room uh, sound wise and also using the, I already got this to do the chroma and on, on, the, on the background so that I can create a virtual background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to go the professional, the most professional way to be able to do video casting, video, whatever, and then proper sound. So the room, um, it's, so it's all wood and there's nothing on the walls, nothing on the floor. So there's a lot of echo. That's something that needs to be probably fixed uh, for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, but that, that's the plan. Gotcha. Cool. And do you have a budget? We were talking about uh, also budget. Like what do you feel that you want to invest in? Uh, I don't have a final number. I can invest uh, I don't know. I, I, if I had to choose now, I could invest up to 1,000, 
500 dollars. Uh, but with time, I, I don't need to do all at, at the time. So even with the house, I had a project, I had, and then through time, I can finish up stuff. So I, I don't have like a full budget because I don't need to do it right now, but I like to have this kind of professional. So, yeah. so there are it. solutions you want to implement now and then you can work. Yes, it. if it's something model, right? I, I, I like the model version. So uh, I'm going to have three cameras. So I started with uh, one camera that it's something that I can do now, but I still have the conditions to have the second third camera. If I do something on the walls, Maybe I can start it on the wall and put something, uh, some stone blocking, something materials on the on this first wall. Then I can go to the next one. So it depends. Um, uh, so I don't have like yeah, I can only spend five hundred dollars. That's it. No, I can go more, and I can go more with time. So gotcha. Doesn't need to be perfect tomorrow. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna go. I'm gonna start sharing my screen and then that way we can work through the designs. Right. What we have over here is your the photo that you sent us of the space, yes. which is completely empty. And as you mentioned, it's white and it's very clean. And, and the floor is whiter now, sorry. <laughs> whiter, okay. And what we're gonna do is we have outlined the space. So this is your room, so to speak. Uh, there's obviously the sliding door that's over here. And we're gonna sh go through a few different options for you. Right, so let's start with this. So Dolores, you can go ahead. Awesome, so right now, I uh, just wanna uh, get a bit of orientation. So you're facing the closet right now, right? Your desk is like this? Yes, so we know on the side, on my right side, yes. And you do that for what reason? Uh, let me think. So I didn't want to be facing the window, to be facing direct light and let me see. There, so the way the desk is an L-shaped desk, so I wanted to have space to go out of it. Uh, well, there's no reason why not to change. It just feels more natural this way. Uh, but again, yeah, no, I don't see any specific logic I can say. Yeah, this, but this way. is uh, a closet, right? Yes. Yeah, the doors open. They are kind of small doors, yeah, so they, they don't... Yeah, it does. it's actually lovely cabinetry work mm -hmm. that you've yeah. uh, had they made. So they're full height closets, uh, cabinets. And so this is how you face. And then, the, so I just want to explore the option that you have right now. And then the, the lighting source, uh, Najib, comes from the window. So yes. right now, you're, it yeah. looks like, too, when, you're look, when I'm looking at you, that you are um, lit from both sides on a good day, correct? Yes, yes, because it, it's then, open, it's open, yeah, there's no And wall. then you have another light source, uh, you have a, a ring, um, ring light here, a ring LED? Uh, not yet, I just oh. have a, the camera. Uh, so that's a camera, and, okay. And then there's a little uh, little light on the left side. I, I ordered the, the LEDs to put them on, on top of my screen to light my face, but they're not here yet. Okay. And so the, in the intention is that uh, people see the background and then you can do whatever you want with the background, right? Yes, do it a little background and, so I can play around. Okay, and so what is it that you want to do in the back? So let's explore this option. I'll lay out uh, about uh, two other options, but this would be one of them. I guess uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, although it's a nice closet, you're still facing the closet. So <laughs> for me, uh, working all day facing the closet would um, but you're, uh, as Najib will probably point out later in terms of tech, you're being lit, very well lit to the side. What kind of uh, background do you want? I mean, I know that you said you have green screens, so um, installing hardware to hang that would be great. But it would also be lovely to have this wall with um, your branding or your logo. And I've noticed from your uh, email signature that you've, um, you have a lot of people that, uh, you have a lot of client logos on it. Would you want to see something like client logos here or do you want a bulletin board that, well, you probably don't use any paper perhaps. Um, yeah, so, so the idea would be to have my logo to the professional logo in the background. But the problem is I'm working for four different events. One yeah. is a client, the other one are just different events, different brands. So the mm -hmm. virtual background will allow me to, every time I do something specific, then I, I'll have 
the virtual logo, the virtual design of the company on the background. So that's, that's the main idea of the virtual background. And how do you intend to feature your logos in the back? So we, the, the way the display itself or? or uh, well, I'm just wondering. So there's two things that are happening uh, in this room. One is that you're working day to day doing things. And then the other is that you're going to be uh, featuring um, video casts and then um, events from your home, correct? Correct. So it would be nice to have a background here or a wall that for me would either reflect your branding or what would be lots of fun is, uh, well, so this is the door to the other room, by the way. Yes. Okay. But it would be, and then this is all open plan sliding doors and then the, the doors stack here, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. For me, what would be fun, since uh, your nomadic travel is to warm places or cold places, or does it matter? <laughs> Definitely warm places. Okay, have... <laughs> so here I would love to see a wall covering that features the jungles of Vietnam, something in Africa. You could do a montage, but something that reflects your travels. And these days, uh, vinyl wall coverings even custom vinyl wall coverings are very easy to produce. And that would be a worthwhile budgetary item. Otherwise you can crop and then uh, paste to the wall uh, any of your large travel photographs. But for me, since you're a traveling nomad, part of your brand would be the places that you've visited already. And, uh, or we can have a bulletin board or a board where you can switch everything up. Uh, depending on uh, what it is that you want to feature rather than a green screen kind of feature. But for me, even on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what I would like to look at. Um, or if, I, if the camera is over here and then we have this beautiful montage of photographs, uh, that would be on brand. And then I guess one of the photographs could be your logo if you wanted to, but this is a great feature wall. So you want to maximize its uh, uh, ROI, return on investment right away. Because anytime you do anything uh, with uh, business or being a video cast or anything, that, that's nature, it's an investment, right? It's an investment of your time. It's an investment of your efforts an investment of your money. So this would be a great wall to invest in and uh, make sure that everyone sees something that's uh, on brand for you. So the wall would be opposite to that. Sounds good. Yeah. So, so uh, having said that, um, it would be super awesome, great, if you had your chair over here so that you could look at everything. And then when you needed to do a video cast, then you could bring your chair all the way over here. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, so mean sitting down over there. Yes, I do work mostly standing out, but yeah, but that, that, that could work. No. So what I'm talking about is having a desk configuration or having your desk be such that you could work from both sides. Here, hmm. that's chair. Right now your, your desk isn't set up uh, to do that. No. You said you have a bit of an L-shaped desk. But for me, on a day-to-day -day basis, I would like to stare at photographs. And then if, I, if you have the camera here, then you could sit over here or stand over here and then have the camera look at your back wall. The point so, being is I want to be able to see, I want you to enjoy your experience on a day-to-day -day basis and not stare at the closet. Uh, try to imagine the, uh, the, um, the challenge here would be, so I, I use a big flat screen um, as an external uh, monitor, so I had to make it in a way that I could move it around easier. So what is so, your current setup in terms of your screen? So you ha do you have a laptop and external, or yes. is it just two monitors? So let me show. So I've got, so the laptop is here, it's connected, and I'm using this big 27 inches screen. Okay. And then you have the boom mic. And then the boom mic here. And then this is a little lamp that I have here, but this is a stationary. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah, you see the standing desk. Yeah. The desk is kind of empty. Is it always standing or is it sometimes? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be always standing. That's my objective, but it's, it's easy. So you just press 
the system here and then it just goes right. down and I, and I can work and I still have a chair here. So I can always sit gotcha. down. I use the chair just to sit down and think, but then I stand up yeah. to work. Could you show the laptop again? Yeah, so the laptop, the mic is here. Oh, it's down there. It's just on a dock. So you don't yeah. really use uh, the no. laptop, but everything's on the main display, right? Yes, yes. Gotcha. So it seems like from that point of view, what you want to think about is, so if we have your main camera angle, right, is, so if this is what Dolores is mentioning, I'm going to just bring this to the front. So if you look at your camera, right, uh, again, depends on which camera you get, right? So if the viewing angle, right now the viewing angle is right here, right? You see that? Yes. So if you kind of move it back, you know, a few things you can kind of exp um, explore using is monitor arms. So the, there are these arms which can kind of, kind of swivel that allows you to mm -hmm. kind of adjust it whenever you need to, right? So you can kind of have that. If you're looking at lighting in addition to that, so if this blue kind of represents the light, um, for just like a natural daylight, then you have, you know, light coming in like this. Uh, I'm just going to make this somewhat bigger, right? So, oh, okay. So we have like, you know, a lot of um, natural daylight coming in through here, which is great. Um, however, there isn't anything from this side, right? So what you're noticing right now with your, with yourself, because you're lit, lit from your right side, you know, there, there, because it's a light room, you're getting a bit of that reflection from the doors or even the wall that's kind of covering it up, right? So it's somewhat okay, but come nighttime, it's going to be somewhat different, right? So what you want to do and think about is from at least a lighting point of view is you want to look at um, having a different kind of light source. Um, either like over here, because I know you have the small lamp and obviously you're waiting on getting the other um, order of LEDs, but you can look at getting getting one over here and that way it kind of counterbalances that and it gets you in a proper lighting. So either having a soft box or even, yeah, see, that's, that's at least good, but you want to adjust the lighting so it's not completely yellow because that makes it look very warm, right? So, and you can see a bit of that reflection and it's coming off your face, right? So if you have like a larger light source, that's perhaps, you know, like a softbox or a lar large LED, it could be the one you ordered. But what it allows you to do is if you make it softer, then it makes you look more professional, right? Because yeah. we look best when we're lit on both sides. If you have too much light coming from the top, then your um, eyebrows cast this shadow on your, and so we, they call, the lighting engineers call that the hag effect. So you <laughs> don't want that. You want to be able to be lit as much as you can. Even in your bathroom, by the way, if you, it's best if you're lit kind of front and to the sides, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, the other, if you wanted to invest in a beautiful, unique um, fix, light fixture, a floor lamp, I'm sure that you've seen the um, photographic um, umbrella lamps that uh, photographers use. There's also uh, a light fixture that's designed that way that would kind of serve two purposes. It would be a unique light fixture that you can keep forever because a lot of those are designer light fixtures anyway. And it would give you the soft light that you want. It's uh, Genesis is from photo photographers, but they've adapted it for, um, residential use. Have you ever seen them? No, no, not the familiar. That, yeah, they're really quite lovely. They're large, like a, a studio umbrella lighting, and it's tall, but it, it's really quite a um, an artistic object in itself. So uh -huh. that's like multi-purpose, so you don't have to have just uh, a ring light or light that's just studio. I mean, you could bring it into your living room or do whatever you want with it, and be able to keep it forever so it's not just utilitarian yeah the the adding to that is if you look at the lighting point of view the because you're ordering the led depending on what kind of led you have it could be even led strips you can even attach it to the the closet the cabinets, right mm -hmm. if it's like if you have a whole bunch of tiny led strips you can attach to the closet and it, it can serve as double function one is you can kind of light up your closet with at night with like different colors or when it's 
filming time or recording time, you can make it all LED white daylight setting. And then that way you get that right in front of you. So you don't have to worry about an ex external space. But the one thing to keep in mind, like you mentioned, is um, the sound, right? So because there's a lot of echo, you definitely need to soundproof it. So, and because there's a lot of hard surfaces, a few things you want to consider is just having a mat being mm -hmm. one on the floor. Uh, mm -hmm. Up top, again, completely dependent on your budget and price range, uh, you want to perhaps see how you can soundproof the ceiling. Uh, either by acoustic panels, you know, they, they can obviously range. They're obviously very expensive, but a simple way that you can kind of look at soundproofing on a budget is target at least the corners and having a soundproofing panel directly above you because in a good way to test is just clap. And as soon as you clap, you can hear that echo. So if you're able to kind of do the corners over here, or even the sliding panel on the inside of the sliding panel, depending on how much space there is, either put a soundproofing acoustic panel there or just put a t not a towel, but a different sort of fabric, right? Even if it, it's white, it can kind of go with your decor because that'll help absorb a lot of sound. And when you say corner, you mean like corner all the way up or corner on the ceiling? <laughs> Ideally. Both. <laughs> so, 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 and that's what I'm saying. It's completely dependent on your budget, right? So what you'll have in like soundproofing studios is they'll have their specific corner acoustical pieces, right? Acoustic phones made for corners and they go all the way up and some are for the corner itself, like just the, the point of the corner. So complete depending on what you want in terms of your budget. But I think you should also think about in addition to all of that, like what kind of works because you don't necessarily want everything to be shown on screen, right? So if you have a fabric like Dolores was saying before, you can have the acoustic panels behind it and a fabric on top. Or if you wanna have some sort of plants, right? Like actual plants, then it gives it a bit of depth for the background. And that actually helps absorb a bit of sound. Not a lot, but a bit. Right. Uh, if you had a nice uh, carpet on the floor that absorbs sound. Mm -hmm. um, since you like that minimalist space age look, what they're doing in offices that have hard surface flooring is they're actually dropping, they have uh, acoustical ceiling panels that you can actually drop. And that's very exciting as well. So you can have four um, that are attached to little cables, invisible like fishing wire or suspended oh. cables. So there's a variety of ways that you can manage that situation. So even if it's on camera, the acoustical panels are on camera, they'll look okay. Najib has acoustical panels behind them that are covering the window. Uh, so that works as well. So they can come prefab in a lot of uh, different shapes and colors. Um, if you paint acoustical panels, they lose their acoustic value, but you can wrap them in fabric. So there's uh, even back here, if you wanted all of this acoustical panels, you could do it quite lovely. I've done it before for clients. It could be, and then it could actually double as a bulletin board if you wanted to. But, and and uh, there are white acoustical panels as well. So you can get that as well. Yeah. So you're not restricted to black. Or wrap them in fabric and staple mm -hmm. the fabric on the back. So whatever color it is, you can do fabric. The uh, LED situation, because this is beautiful cabinetry. Uh, the cabinetry goes all the way to the ceiling, correct? Um, no. So there's like uh, maybe 15 centimeters uh, from, the, from the top. I can show you. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. The point being Just is about, that... Yeah. Yeah, there's the AC grid there. Okay. And there the top. So if you put a light strip there that faces out, uh, make sure that the light strip, it has a diffuser uh, enclosure so you can actually buy these light strips and sections right yes. and then put them all together they can be enclosed in a nice um, aluminum or stainless steel casing make sure it has a diffuser so that you don't see all the little dots uh, the little hot spots because after a while that's gonna hurt your eyes mm -hmm. and then you need you may want to invest some money into um, threading the electrical and then the transformer through the cabinetry so that it feeds the electrical, I guess, from the, yeah, the side over here. I have power plugs inside the cabinet too. 
Oh, wow. Aren't you the best? Wow. <laughs> You're an educated, you... sophisticated client. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, but you, you get what I'm saying these... is that you would have a light strip all here. And there are light strips that are not even uh, 1.5 uh, centimeters by 1.5. And then they have a little diffuser. And then you could line up the whole thing and make it look like part of the interior as opposed to a hodgepodge sort of thing. And they're very easy to install. So the only thing is that there are there is a transformer um, that you need to hide on the top, yeah. I guess, is easy enough to do. And it has to have a bit of air. But uh, that could look super space agey as well. And believe it or not, you can actually put them on a color rotation if you wanted to. It, oh. um, yeah, a lot of them are mm -hmm. software uh, initiated or dependent. So you can actually feed or program the LEDs to do whatever it is that you want. But you have to make sure that you go into it, making sure that it has, um, I think it's RGB, Neja? 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's RGB. Yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, there are LEDs, you can do that. So like, I actually have ones that's actually along the strip and that's LED. So based on when I'm recording, I'll turn it on. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention is this sliding door right here. This actually moves completely to the other side, right? Yeah. Yes. It does. Okay. So the other thing you could do is because you mentioned you want to kind of have and explore different camera angles is even have a secondary uh, let's do this I'm gonna get a different camera angle uh, because if you're having more cameras then what you could do is you can actually have a separate camera angle you know that's somewhere over there but this thing what it allows you to do is allows you to show with this background right? So you can close this door or you can hide something over here, you know, but you have this background as your main background, but you can also have this right here as like a secondary background. Now, obviously the caveat is, you know, no one else mm -hmm. should be in the home because then you're going to hear some background noises, but it allows you flexibility. If you want to change it up, go to camera two, camera one, it allows you a bit more playful um, interaction for your events. So there's a light there on the corner. So this yeah. is the window. Oh, the light is right here. Yes. Or near the closet. It's right here. Yes. Right there. Okay. And yeah. you can see some floor lights on the floor that goes all the way to the kitchen. Where are they? They're so, by the closet? Oh, oh yes. is, no, no, no. By here. Yes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So one thing, one thing, Zhao, um, that I'll mention before we move on to the next design, yeah. just kind of being aware of time, is mm -hmm. that in terms of soundproofing, at least now, if you're recording, it's good if you open these doors. The reason why is if you open these doors, it creates more depth over here. And cavities, yeah. It'll cavities oh, and, and it'll it reflect the sound. Well. Yeah, it'll, it won't dampen it a lot, but just a bit, a bit more, right? So at least for now, until you're waiting to get soundproofing, if you open these doors. So what do you think about being able to uh, switch your seating up? I know that you have equipment, but can you manage it in such a way that you can... Switch from, from facing both sides of the desk, you mean, right? Yeah. I like the idea. Yeah, I like I like the idea to change and have another place to have a, to look at things differently. So that, that that suits me. Just need to figure out the swivel uh, system for the monitor could probably do the trick. Got yeah, it. the ones the monitors with the arms, um, they're fantastic. They can uh, clip onto your desk, and they can cantilever and do all sorts of things and flip around. It's they're little uh, engineering miracles in themselves. It's yeah. very worth the investment. Yeah. And, uh, the good ones won't be that inexpensive, by the way, but given the, the quality and the commitment that you have to your video cast and your um, company, it would be a worthwhile investment for sure. Yeah. Cool, so let's move on to the second design. So the other thing, way of doing this, would be to have your faith, um, your desk facing out and actually looking outside. I guess I drew the desk too big or maybe not. <laughs> I'm drawing it proportionally. <laughs> 
and then yeah well it's nice to have a wraparound space because like you said you're going to be having different cameras so you can attach them but um at at this point well, that's my chair that kind of got too big um so your face will well first of all you have a chance to look out the window regardless of the view it's nice to look out a window and what it does is it helps um, whenever you look away from your monitor it exercises your eyes so you do actually need to look away from the monitor gosh every few minutes uh, it's almost like driving when you're looking at your back mirror your your mirror to look at the back and then you drive back and forth back and forth so you need to exercise your eyes you can't keep your, it on your screen all the time. That actually produces headaches and all that sort of thing. And then the other added benefit is that you're lit in the front, right? And so you'll have your monitors wherever you have them. And then uh, this might become your background. It might be worthwhile uh, to invest in having the wall covering or wall uh, hanging your green screen. Or, or even on the sliding here. doors. Or yes, of course. So the sliding doors stack at either end, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, so believe it or not, you can, the vinyl would be thin enough to put on the sliding doors and you can still move the sliding doors. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. You can't put acoustical panels that way unless you suspend them. But at this point, if you wanted to suspend an acoustical panel from above, that would be one way to go. You can have your acoustical panels here, your acoustical panels here. The point being is that with the camera, you have different uh, options, right? The, so Najib, if you wanted to yeah. discuss. So the thing is over here, if you have the camera, right? So you have uh, different options, right? So one is over here. If you just mm -hmm. put it directly in front, mm -hmm. you have the viewing angle, which is all the way there. So it allows you to kind of change this up if need be, right? Like you can kind of have that. The other thing you can do is you can actually have up top on the ceiling, you can actually have, these are photography backdrops. So almost like a pull and you can actually have different backdrops. So that way, even if you have the curtain, uh, pardon me, the sliding panels here, you can have different setups up there. So if you want green, you put green down. If you want a pre-printed, fabric it's on a roll just like a curtain you just kind of roll it down right so that allows you to kind of do that um the advantage over here is just you just naturally lit so in terms of lighting you know you might just have the you, you might want to have just like a secondary light source in addition to in addition to I that have one here on too. one side and then you'd have like a hair light and this is typically called a hair light and that's slightly smaller and this is more up above Right, and it kind of like accents your hair exactly. So you would have that, but the advantage is, you know, you because you're. I know you're not sitting, but you know, even if you get rid of this, you have the view out, right? And the advantage is instead of you just staring at the wall or rather at the screen and your closet, you know, you're able to kind of see out and you know just look at birds, give your eyes a chance to rest, and it allows the central place to be over here, um, over here be the backdrop that you can kind of pull down or um, you can have the acoustics in the center, right? So I like uh, your um, idea of the photographic backgrounds, those roles. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but you can, some of them can be set up for two or three roles and you can change the color. Some of them are paper as opposed to fabric. Uh, you can change up the color of the background. So maybe one role could be all your sponsors or something for an event. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. All the, your sponsors for an event, and then another one can be green screen, and another one. Yeah. yeah it's very adaptable. And, and, and the, if you put in the system, it's, it's so like they're rolling. almost like fully system. Exactly. Yeah, so it's like a, a window system. blind almost. Like a window blind. Yeah. The yeah. other other benefit is if you do it this way, you can have the secondary camera from this point of view. And then that way you also do the similar thing over here and you can have two different setups immediately. And it's all contained in one room instead of you going out to the other area, right? Obviously yeah, that sure. means it covers this up, but allows you to have two different camera setups with completely two different scenarios 
and opens makes the space more open because everything's in the middle. So yeah. I know that um, we're in the season of COVID, but if you're going to, um, that's a nice expression, by the way. <laughs> if you're going to have um, a video uh, blog, you might want to invite guests eventually, right? So that you can have that energy and that dynamic. So you'll uh, probably need a little desk for them or a chair, or you might want to consider, because you have a lot of space in that room, you might want to consider uh, little table and chair arrangements that you can move around so that you can have a sit down chat with them, right? right. So we can orient uh, your desk uh, a little bit differently yeah, because so you won't be cool. opening up the closets all the time, but mm -hmm. uh, that would be lots of fun. So it would be like a TV. Studio setup. Yeah, TV yeah, like you want. Yeah, the, like what yeah you this wanted. layout of desk allows these more space, of course, because the yeah the center is much more open, so can definitely do more stuff in there. I so mean, you have a lot of storage space with all that closet uh, cabinetry, so I'm quite happy about that. But again, I'd love to see a carpet uh, that yeah. again will help. Um, you must have brought back some carpets from your travels. No, no, I'm a minimalist <laughs> travel. I just, too big to carry. Just carry on, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, you might want to consider it for your <laughs> yeah. for the future yeah. because it would be lovely to see some representation of your travels, like sculptures. Like you don't really have never mentioned any uh, objets d'art or knickknacks or whatever little uh, sculptures from your travels. So really, we haven't re accommodated anything to reveal your personality. Mm -hmm. I've given you, I've revealed and given you some personality by telling you what to do with the walls. But <laughs> quite honestly, I would love to see shelving like our friend Najib has where you show the books and some of your uh, acquisitions from your travels, I guess it would be. But I would love to see more personality. I would love to see more of your personality, not personality. It's nice to have a space agey kind of thing, but it would be lovely. Uh, glass shelving is very kind of uh, high style. I would just love to see some of the collections of your travels. I know that you're a light traveler and that you're it's minimal. Like, African masks and gosh golly baskets. I would be collecting from here to December but then again I have a different bent and yeah, I, so, uh, so, but so. you must be published in some books or you must have interesting books. Um, yeah that yeah, would so, be my yeah. request as part of your branding books books would probably work better so if i could share it a bit <laughs> no because because i i have i have to confess i'm a little bit of on the geek side so although i'm a traveler mm -hmm. i don't collect anything because i travel as to develop myself not to visit specific cultures or places so i'm not attached to anything traditional anywhere not even in my own country I like the whiteness for the freedom and the flexibility and the spaceship and, and I like to consider myself a space nomad. Uh, so that's the geeky side of me. So books could work. But but even if you anything... study your nomads, not to interrupt, but if you study your nomads, every nomad has a carpet, a tape. <laughs> a tape those... would be very useful because it protects you from the ground. And then not to mention, if you had a tape, you would hang it on the wall. I, I, and that I, would be something to think about. I give you that, <laughs> but I have a talk. I, I have a talk that I talk about nomads 3.0 because those who are talking are the, nom the original nomads, the, mm. the real ones. But we so, are talking now of the different kind of nomads. Those travel for the. Well, okay. So, 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 about so, so we'll keep, keep it on track. Yeah. So, so we'll keep it on track. So, with the interest of time right now, okay. well, Joe, which. So, we've what? obviously come. Um, yeah. In the past um, bit of time that we have kind of explored, we kind of looked at two different scenarios. Which scenario are you kind of are you kind of feeling more towards? So, so is there is there um, is there was the third scenario the desk where they like because I like to do the desk on the window. I like that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I did like more the first one. Uh, I didn't like the the desk on the wall on this on the second one facing the wall. 
so I, I, agree, I agree that not facing the window is kind of a waste, but facing the wall for me a little bit. Um, so I think I like more the first one. Uh, I see. Gotcha. Your first one? Yes. Because but facing I, I, the wall? Not, well, no, facing the wall, but not connected to the wall. I mean, like not like directed to the wall. And gotcha. facing, yeah, you see, so the second one, you are in line with the wall. Like you're just, right. yeah. so the wall will be just in front of you. The other one, you can, the, you can still, uh, on your view, you can still see the window, even though you're facing the wall. I see. Gotcha. So you're just, so looking out, but not all the way to there, but rather bring it in a bit. Yes, because I see on the second one, you, I can use both tests, right? I can rotate and, and use yeah. the one on, on the back, like you said, then I'll be facing the wall. On, on the other one, I could do that, but I, I, I wouldn't be in front of the wall, like 20 inch, inches from it. Ah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. So was this helpful for you? Yes. Yes, you guys. Yeah, you guys have a lot of, I, I haven't even haven't thought about the, yeah, the cameras and the perspectives and the window. I was struggling to see uh, if it would make any sense to be facing the window because I always felt that maybe the lighting will, wouldn't be adequate, but you guys told me otherwise. So yeah, so definitely. Hope you liked this episode of the Home Office for Success series. If you want to find out more about interior design, check out DoloresPian.com. And if you want to know more about team culture, team building and remote work, check out Teamland.com. If you want to learn more or see more episodes, make sure to hit the subscribe button and would love it if you liked and commented below. I'd love to know what was your favorite part about this episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon.